Hello and welcome to the fifth day of Captario's 10-year celebration series. My name is Carl Rahn, and today we're meeting up with two of our product developers, Marcus Oen and Hampus Holliman, to talk about dimensional modeling. What is dimensional modeling? Why does it dramatically increase the speed of our computations? How does it work? And why is this the next step? These are some of the questions we will be talking about. But before we go into the studio, I want to remind you to browse our website for our hidden celebratory logo and be part of the raffle to win a four-hour workshop with us. Now let's go talk to Marcus and Hampus. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Um, we're all really excited to learn about dimensional modeling. And um, you know, everybody's been talking about this, I gotta say, and, and we're here to learn a little bit more. I think it might be best to start out with, um, you know, this was your brainchild, Hampus. Like, tell us about the birth of, of dimensional modeling. What, what, was in, what was in your head? Why? why? Sure. Uh, it is actually something that has been in the works for almost three years, I think. It has evolved uh, over time. So in the beginning, I wanted to make the engine faster. In computer science, there's a thing called vectorization. And uh, it's, uh, it's a different way to instruct the processor in a computer to uh, do various tasks uh, to make it go faster. And so it uh, became a, like a new approach to modeling. We can uh, remove a lot of noise and make it easier uh, for a modeler. That's excellent. So you're looking to increase the speed for the uh, for the uh, end users, for the clients, for the modelers that are uh, working on these complicated uh, challenges around decision making, and uh, also the developers internally, so they can make their changes quicker and develop the software in, in, a, in a quicker fashion. And this is all through through making the the, the code simpler. Yeah, making the code. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. it's about simplifying. Yeah. And sim yeah. Simplifying and increasing speed. No, that's great. So you, you started with just a pure speed thing and you ended up improving the experience for, for all sides of people that are touching uh, Captario Sum. Yeah, I think one of the currently one of the biggest constraints about analytics is the time it takes to get out the data. Like the simulations can take time. And uh, having to do changes in the model and stuff is slow. So with dimensional modeling, you remove a lot of that constraint in terms of time, but it also makes a model that's way easier to work with, to filter and uh, manipulate the data to get um, the interesting stuff, to be able to do the analysis. When Hampus did some sum or uh, dimensional modeling, uh, he thought about it in a way like a developer would or like a mathematician. So the data that's generated is a lot cleaner and easier to work with, making our work uh, doing the analytic stuff a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, and it, it makes the experience for the user a lot uh, cleaner to work with because the data is structured in a way that it's super easy to analyze and aggregate and uh, work with in general. Excellent. So, so how will we be integrating this? How, how will we see it implemented? Um, as far as I know, it's going to be um, basically uh, a separate uh, engine where you could where this engine would work a lot closer with uh, some bi or the analytics than the current model is where instead of having to move a lot of back and forth and uh, working with custom data points and stuff to do aggregations after the fact uh, dimensional modeling would allow analytics to work a lot closer to the data and the engine um, mm. which would be the main benefit i think yeah much more efficient yeah much more efficient. That's great. And a so, better user experience as well. Less, yeah. Less moving around. Excellent. Yeah, that's that's part of the part of what we're what we're shooting for. Yeah. Better user experience for sure. Well, that's great. If if you could put your future hat on, how do you think this is going to affect our clients and how they interact with with uh, with Captario? <clears throat> I think it's going to save a lot of time, and I think it's going to. Uh, improve in, in general improve their experience uh, getting the data out working with the data which is what we want the customers to do mm. will be a lot easier and smoother experience so Excellent. i think it will be in general an improvement of a lot of the experience yeah, yeah that's great yeah. wow that's really great to hear so if you were building say a long-range plan a, a, 
uh, a look at your LRP and, and doing that, entering it, running the simulations would be much quicker now. Yeah, and also the fact that you have this um, feedback loop, you can, you don't have to be afraid to test things out. You don't have to be afraid to like do mistakes because you can just, uh, you can quickly revert back. Uh, so it just allows for exploring, <laughs> more exploration. Yeah, because the computing power is much, much more efficient, efficient much, much more efficient use of the computing power. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That makes, makes a lot of sense. sense. Yeah, excellent. Wow, nice, nice, nice work. work. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, excellent. So I thank you both very much for sitting down and enlightening all of us on, uh, on your hard work. And uh, we can't wait to see the results. We're very uh, anxious to see uh, uh, dimensional modeling uh, come into fruition. So thank you both for your time. And uh, thank you all for watching and listening in. And uh, stay tuned uh, this week for the next episode.